Hey, this is Sam from Sure. In this video tutorial, I'm going to talk all about Showlink, or a technology Sure has created to enable the control of portable wireless devices. In the olden days, before the Showlink technology, wireless systems were controlled in a pretty limited fashion. When, the, uh, when computer software came along to allow users to control wireless systems, it was typically the rack device. In the microphone's case, that would be the rack receiver, or in IEM's case, that would be the rack transmitter. You could connect those network devices to a computer and control them by you know, through things like wireless workbench, changing frequencies, changing channel names, doing all those edits, but there was no way to send commands directly to the portable device. This is, in a microphone's case, like a transmitter. Uh, so if the receiver needed to change frequencies or you wanted to pull a spare um, out of the box and give it to your talent, the, the transmitter would be left behind if any changes were made. And it was to answer this question, amongst a few others, that Showlink came into the picture. Showlink is a technology that uh, was developed by Sure that enables uh, two-way communication to Showlink-capable portable devices. So in uh, Axiant's case, uh, all, all of the products that Sure um, develops that have this technology are Axiant-based products. So that's either the original Axiant or Axiant Digital in the ADX line of products. Now, I know this is a hardware feature, uh, meaning that you know this feature comes to life when you've got all the necessary hardware components, but there's a lot in Wireless Workbench that allows you to take the most advantage of those features, and I'd like to cover those today. So, uh, breaking down what I have for you uh, in Wireless Workbench, I've got an Axiant receiver uh, and an Axiant transmitter, AXT100, and this is maybe the first difference I'll call out. When you have Showlink-capable devices connected into your system, your, trans your Showlink portables, in this case a transmitter, uh, is a part of your network. Thanks to this Showlink access point that I have in my inventory, now I happen to have one of the new Axiom Digital ones, but they're totally forwards and backwards compatible. Um, when you add one of these access points to your network, it enables you to basically bring Showlink connected transmitters onto that network and, and address them like you would um, a rack receiver you've got an Ethernet cable plugged into. This access point enables that communication directly to transmitters, which is really cool. Um, so you'll notice I've discovered my transmitter, which is different than you would uh, be able to do with, let's say, a ULXD device or a QLXD device where the transmitter doesn't have Showlink capabilities. So why would users care? Why would you care about being able to connect uh, in a networked capacity to your transmitters? Well, first and foremost, you can change parameters directly on the transmitter. Now, this is probably going to make a lot more sense in a runtime show type environment, uh, but when you've got show link connectivity to a transmitter, first off, you can I can confirm that for this particular channel, I've got show link connectivity because my show link icon's here and I've got five bars of signal. Um, you know, the way that we communicate show link signal strength is in a zero through five bars metric. Um, and basically this is a quantized view to show you how good is your show link link between the transmitter and the access point. Uh, five bars is best, one bar is worst, and so on and so forth. So the first cool thing is when we can communicate directly to our transmitter, we can make changes to that transmitter. Um, in the channel strip, I've got this convenient carousel that lets me traverse through all the slots, all the different slots that transmitters can connect to for this accent receiver. And you'll notice BP1, BP01 rather, is my body pack that I've connected to. And what I can do is RF mute that transmitter straight from here. And you'll notice when I RF mute that, my RSSI indicators go dark, many timelines showing me I've got no connection. Uh, which is a really handy thing to do. You can imagine after sound check, your talent's going to go into the dressing room and uh, take a quick break before the show. Let me save battery life and make sure there's no spurious RF being transmitted. And to do that, I can simply RF mute the mic. It's a really simple thing. Five minutes before the show, when they come up on stage, un RF mute, RSSI comes back. And now I've basically taken complete control of that transmitter, regardless of the fact that I have no physical access to it. So that's one huge benefit of Showlink. Now, RF mute and local gain on the transmitter side, these are two benefits that you can adjust uh, with the show link capability, but I want to go deeper. If I open the properties panel of this Axiant channel, and I can go to the transmitters tab, I can see, you know, this Axiant system supports two slots of transmitters. Um, and basically, you know, we'll cover slots in another video, but when I select the slot where my body pack is linked to, you'll notice I've got a nice little keychain of status indicators showing me all this information for my device, but check it out. Every one of these transmitter parameters, uh, like device name, RF mute control, RF power level, local gain to the transmitter, even the front panel lock, is all surfaced right here, and I've got full control of that. 
So no more do you have to bother your talent, take the body pack out of the awkward spot wherever it was stuffed in the costume to make a quick change. You've got full control of that from Wireless Workbench. Now the last thing I want to mention about Showlink is its capability to keep receiver and transmitter in lockstep when it comes to frequency changes. Now if you're familiar with Axiant or Axiant Digital, one of the big benefits of Showlink is that when frequency changes occur, because we can remotely control the transmitter, the receiver and the transmitter can both tune to the new frequency simultaneously, allowing your entire wireless system to dynamically avoid interference at your control. So how do we do that? Let me show you. In the radio tab, we've got all of our frequency controls and I could manually edit these frequencies if I want, but what I can also do is take advantage of these new frequency and select from frequency list features, which we've covered in other tutorial videos. And the power of these is, with a single click I can say, for whatever reason, 518.7, the frequency is not doing it for me or taking hits. Let me ask for a new frequency and confirm. And the entire system switches to a new frequency. Notice my transmitter didn't miss a beat. My RSSI went down and came right back up and the transmitter changed. And now the whole system is operating on this new frequency. Showlink makes this all possible. And it's, uh, it is a new technology available at a premium price point with the Axiant products and Axiant Digital in the ADX line of transmitters. But uh, you can see the power of being able to remotely control and monitor transmitters with this fidelity. So I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you've got any other questions about Showlink or Axiant or Axiant Digital or any of these products, please be sure to leave comments down below. Thanks.